We're solving systems again using matrices, and today we're going to look at reduced row echelon form. Using this method, we will input one matrix into the calculator and solve. This matrix is called an augmented matrix. Or one in which we will combine the coefficient matrix and the constant matrix into one matrix. Then we'll use a calculator to reduce the matrix. So we'll reduce the rows. You can actually do this by hand by performing several row operations, and this would take up probably an entire page that you're working on. But today we're just gonna look at using the calculator to do this. So the matrix is in reduced row echelon form when it looks like an identity matrix. So if you're given a system of equations, in this case, we're given a three variable system of equations, we have it in standard form. So our X's are lined up, Y's are lined up, Z's are lined up equals, our constants are over here. If we put this system of equations, the coefficients into an augmented matrix, we're gonna take each of those coefficients and put them in a matrix like this, where we have our X's here, our Y coefficients here, and our Z coefficients here. And then we'll put our constants over here, and that is in red, it should actually be in green, but we'll put our constants over here um, and we'll end up instead of a three by three matrix, we'll have a three by four matrix like this. And that's called an augmented matrix. So now I'm gonna show you how to enter um, this into the calculator and um, perform the, or tell your calculator to solve this using reduce, or putting it into reduce row echelon form. We're now gonna put this augmented matrix into our calculator. So I want to enter it into, I'm gonna enter it into matrix A. So second matrix, and I'm going to scroll over to edit and press enter. This is a three by four matrix, right? It's an augmented matrix. So three by four, enter. I've got three rows, four columns. Um, I, this last column is where I've put in that constant matrix um, into this single matrix right here, this augmented matrix. So now I'm just gonna enter in all of the coefficients. So two, and then I've got five, and then I've got negative seven. I wanna make sure you write negative seven, not minus seven, negative 92. And we're just gonna take some time to enter all of these coefficients into our calculator, or into, yes, our calculator. Three, negative two, I've got five, um, 123, and the last row, 8, 12, negative 1, and 61. So now I've got all of my values um, plugged into our matrix. And you know what? I plugged in 33 right there, and it should be a 3. So we want to make sure that all of the numbers are input into our matrix and our calculator correctly. So now let's Quit this second mode, second quit, and we're gonna come, come back to the home screen. And now we're gonna use reduce row echelon form. So it, reduce row echelon form is basically where you perform a series of uh, row calculations and you eliminate, um, it, it's a process of elimination, but it's a very long process and I'm just showing you how to do your, use your calculator to do it today. So um, our calculator, gonna go to second matrix, we want our calculator to do some math. So scroll over to math and go down to RREF. That's reduced row echelon form. And it's B, so we'll press enter right here. So it shows up right there. And then now we, we need to name matrix A. So second matrix, and we're just gonna name matrix A because that's where I put, um, entered in the values into my calculator. And so now our calculator is going to perform those row operations and we'll press enter and there is what it looks like when it's completely solved and it would take up a whole sheet of paper if you um, did it on your own but our calculator did it just like that and we have our values um, for x equals 14 y equals negative 3 and z equals 15. we're going to write our um, solutions, and you can write your answer in matrix form if I have um, it written like this, the variable matrix XYZ. 
I can write it equals, I can write it as a matrix 14, negative 3, 15. I could also write it as an ordered triple, which would be 14, negative 3, 15. So I could write it either way, but that tells me x is 14, y is equal to negative 3, and z is equal to 15. And that concludes your notes for today. I hope it was helpful.